Welcome 3D students. In this video we're going to create some text and extrude it so we can create sort of a 3D logo of our name. So let's get started. Let's expand our viewports by hitting Alt W on the keyboard. You can also click this button right here to do the same. And then we're going to use the uh, command panel. We're going to go to the command panel and let's click the create tab. Make sure you have geometry selected, standard primitives. We're going to use Text Plus. So turn on Creation of Text Plus, and very importantly, in the front viewport, click once, and that creates your text. And then go immediately to the Modify tab. And that does two things. That turns off Creation Mode, and it also puts us into the settings for the thing we just created. So let's center our text in the 3D world here. Uh, the 3D world uh, is designated by these two dark lines here. Uh, the center of that is 0, 0, 0 for X, Y, and Z. And we want that on the ground, which is right here in the front viewport, and centered in the world in the X and Y direction. So let's get the Move tool. And then the easiest way to do this is to look down at the bottom of your screen below the timeline and find the coordinates. X, Y, and Z right here. And so we need to make these three numbers zero and that will put our text in the middle of the screen on the ground. So let's uh, right click on the spinner, not the number, the spinner, and that will zero it out. And that's true for any spinner. Now to change the text from text plus, we need to come over here into the modify tab in the parameters and you will see the text parameter. Highlight that and type in your name and push enter and you will have the text will change to whatever you typed. Now down below the text parameter is the font and the font type and these are also font types. There's the alignment, the size, if you click and drag on that spinner you'll see what happens there. The tracking which is the space between each letter, the leading which is the space between each word and the vertical scale and the horizontal scale. Now to make this text look 3D, we need to come down here to the geometry settings right here. And we need to find the extrude setting, which is currently zero. And you can click and drag that out and create extruded geometry from your text. I'm going to expand my viewports again by hitting Alt W. Now if you want to change the font of this, you need to highlight the text before you can actually change the font. Once you've highlighted it and changed the font once, you can just continue to cycle through the different fonts if you want to. One other interesting setting, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little better, is the bevel setting. If you check this uh, apply bevel box here, you will see you get a nice bevel on your text, on the edge of your text. And there are different types of bevels here. You can cycle through these and check them out. Linear is the um, default, I think. And then once you have decided on that, uh, we're going to do one more thing to the text before we create our scene with it. Now, it might be interesting to give this text a little more interest by perhaps maybe uh, adding a modifier to it. The modifier I want to experiment with is called Bend. To add a modifier to any geometry, you make sure you're in the Modifier tab. You select the geometry. You go to the Modifier list, which is right here, and you can see there are a whole bunch of things in here. One of the thing, the thing that we want is Bend, and they're all in alphabetical order. Now, usually when you add a modifier to geometry, you will see a box or something that will appear around the geometry that is called the modifier gizmo. Uh, if you look up here in this area here you'll see the original geometry is here and the modifier is here. As you add modifiers they'll just stack up here on top of each other. And This little area here in the modify tab is called the modifier stack. So uh, if you open up the modifier you can see it has a little triangle there. You can see the gizmo here and you can select this gizmo and move it if you want to. We're not going to do that right now, but I'll show you more about that later. So let's add some bend. Here are the parameters for the modifier that we have selected. If I go back to text, you can see it switches to the text parameters. So let's give it a bend angle, and you can see 
clearly that it's doing something, but it's not doing what we want. The reason it's doing that is because it's bending around the z-axis, which is vertical. We don't want it to do that. Let's try y. That's an interesting look, if that's what you want. But it's not what I want. So I'm going to try x. And um, once we do that, you can clearly see that we get uh, the effect, at least, that I'm after. You can also change the direction of the bend if you do this. You can have it bend like that if you want, up or down. And you can get some interesting effects. One other thing I want to show you about the bend modifier is you have this limit setting here. If you click that and you click and drag these spinners here, you can see you get a different type of bend. It's not uniform. See? And the last thing I want to show you about the bend modifier is, or any modifier actually, is if you select the gizmo and you move it, you can see that it affects the text. So where the bend or modifier gizmo is in relation to the text matters. So let's just do that. And another thing here is you can turn off any modifier by just clicking the little eyeball next to it. Okay, now we have our geometry here, and in the next video we're going to set up our scene with lighting, a shadow matte plane, and a background. And I'll see you then.